As a civilization thousands of years old, fishing has been China's lifeblood. A culture rich with gifts from its teeming waters, from the rapids of the Yellow River to the Yangtze, from the East China Sea to the South China Sea. Bounty from these waters nurtured generations after generations, forging a distinct character amongst its fisherfolk. This marine bounty does have its limits. Taking too much from these waters has its drawbacks. For most fisherfolk, the dwindling catch meant a slide into poverty. But it's not too late. Hi friends, Mario Cavallo here. Welcome to Tanmun Township, Chonghai City, here on beautiful tropical Hainan Island. We are going to explore and discover how over a thousand years of old fishing village culture has somehow magically and successfully blended with the rise of a modern China. Wang Zhanzhong was born into a fisherman's family. Wang's father and grandfather both were famous fishermen of Tanman. Apart from their rich sailing experience, the family was famous for a historical root book called Gong Lu Bu, or Manual of Sea Routes. It was handed down since the Yuan Dynasty as a major guide for sailing the South China Sea. And though he had fisherman's blood, Wang had developed an interest in music. His passion for music led him to the Chinese capital, Beijing, where he studied guitar and began to enjoy a comfortable life. It was a phone call from Wang's grandmother in 2013 that led him back home. Chinese President Xi Jinping had visited Hainan back then, including Chonghai sounding off efforts to turn Hainan Island from its traditional fishing routes into a tourist and industrial hub. That's music to the ears of his family, who encouraged him to return. Wang's return is one of rediscovery, breathing new life into his seaside hometown. He opened a local bar, a way to nurture his music career. Ah, from Ji. But this time, his music pays homage to his hometown's maritime roots. And he also opened a local history and culture museum. At his Tanmun Story Museum, I found a diverse collection of cultural artifacts, antiques and maps, relics of timeless stories about sea heritage from his grandfather and great-grandfathers. So that picture behind us is Zhen Zhong's grandfather. His grandfather's grandfather took him out to sea. He's pointing out to me how his, his feet are widely webbed. And this is the case for a lot of fishermen who spent almost all their lifetimes on the boats. Zhang 
太多太多的美，值得我们去发掘跟发现。所以，呃，我就创办了这个故事馆，就是为了深度发掘他们千年来的文化、历史、精神，呃，让更多的人。来到他们，能够有一个好的窗口跟平台，去了解千年渔港。When I was talking today with Zheng Zhong, I learned there's more to the story beyond his work as a musician. He also has local culture museums, and he has them because he wants to continue to spread the good news that, in fact. Even here in this old local fishing village, people can have rich lives, and there's so much opportunity now and in the future. As we journeyed on, we talked about how a fast-growing economy could do wonders in rewarding the efforts, the hard work of locals like the Fu family. With his hometown's booming tourism industry, Fu Minglin, who spent ten years eking out a living from the sea, has seized the opportunity to change his family's life for the better. Fu and his wife, Huang Ai, opened a seaside boutique tourist hotel named Wu Suo Guizhi. Mr. Fu, good to see you. Thank you. Ah, I saw you using using many old traditional traditional traditions. Yes, right? Yes, yes. Like the fishing nets, the old traditional traditions. 对，还有这些贝壳啊，非常自然的，对，一些珊瑚石，对对对,对，就是就是把这个瑜伽的这个氛围表现出来吧。然后这就是南海。Besides the unique seaside homestay, he also offers diving and fishing activities for tourists. Tourists flock to this place, raking in about 200,000 yuan per year. From the Fu couple, I sensed strong family values with their two daughters who share their parents' deep appreciation for and desire to share local culture and history. With China's tireless pursuit of a better life for its people, there are more and more places in the country where a modern, high-tech lifestyle can blend with traditional rural life. These are unique and admirable stories of the lives of real people doing their best and often succeeding in finding their great place in the world. In our visit to Tanlan, the promise of the future converges with the touch of old world charm in a quaint fishing village. Thank you.